What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the Vapid Hustler. Here it is, right here. $625,000. Legendary Motorsport website. So, according to a list we had looked at from Foxy Snaps, and the list that were put out when all these cars were leaked as usual when the DLC releases, this vehicle wasn't supposed to come out until next week. The one, the Karen 190Z, which is the Dots, was supposed to come out today instead of this which I don't know what happened there but I guess Rockstar threw a curveball at us which I find kind of funny didn't really expect that but anyways it's $625,000 it is a muscle car not a sports classics as it may look like this is Rockstar did put this in the muscle cars class here it is right here it's based off the 1933 Ford 5 window coupe that's what it's mostly based off of beautiful car some of you might like it some of you may not but here you can see the uh, the same belts there from the tornado rat rod custom which I find kinda cool so I'm pretty sure those turn when you turn on the engine we'll test that right now we got nice detailed chrome shocks you can see the steering mechanism there I mean very very detailed the door hinge even the door hinges gas cap, gas tank here we have the interior from the, uh, the Roosevelt let's see if those belts are spinning yep there they are spinning away very cool alright so let's go ahead and modify this Already. I love the idle sound. Sounds really good. Sounds kind of like the Mamba a little bit. Okay, so 100% armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, so we have front bumper delete. And then we have rust. What? Why are rusty? <laughs> Why are that like a secondary color? Why are rusty front bumper? <laughs> that is strange. Okay, I'm not a fan of the delete on this car. I kind of like the front bumper. So. Well, let's, oh, we have rear bumpers too, okay, so you have or rear bumper delete, which I do like, and then rusty rear bumper, okay, so definitely a rear bumper You've delete. Oh, wow, so we, we wouldn't have a plate on this car. That's kind of funny. Okay, and then here we have engine. Okay, exhaust, alright. Okay, so where do these go? Oh, wow. We're right out the sides, like a hot rod. <laughs> That is cool. Short upswept pipe, upswept the pipes, and it also shows off the engine a little more, which is nice. And then you have the low, and then the stinger, and then the side exit exhaust. Which, when you put the side exit exhaust, you lose all the beautiful fenders, which is the main signature point of this car. But I, I like I like all those fenders, man. I don't know about you, but I, I personally like it. Not sure how I feel about these. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget. I love the back exhaust. I think they look pretty decent, honestly. I think I'm gonna do the low upswept pipes for now. Probably change them later on if anything. Ooh, we can change the grill too. So you got a rusty grill for some reason. A salty grill. Remove grill so you can see the belts. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And the whole nose delete. And then you have... Well, at least the lights are floating in the air. I think they're attached. Yeah, they're attached to the fenders. That's kind of funny. And then you have chrome mesh grow. And then a black mesh grow. I wonder... Okay, you guys are probably going to laugh. Okay, if that's attached to there... Well, I'm testing something. Wait, oh, Rockstar thought about that. The lights are actually on the, uh, the A-arms. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Let me put my exhaust back on. Nice that is funny. Oh boy, I glitched it out. What the heck? 
Well, now you guys know how to if I hear you, get I those exhausts without the fenders. So if you want the low upswept pipes without the fenders, then all you had to do was buy the low swept by the side exit and then just back out. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do the chrome mesh. I think I like that. How many cars you got in this Even though I like the belts and all that, but I, I don't really like these these types of grills. They look they just look too I don't know, it looks like a barbecue grill. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the way that looked. Okay, next up we have remove hood. So you can see a nice eight stack. And you have, or you can do a triple intake bug action. Okay, single or the high rise like ramp pipes like the uh, Frankenstein with a blower. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm a big fan of the eight stack. Now, here's my big gripe with this car. Similar to the uh, the rat truck, where you have that the underside and the main parts inside the fenders and all that on most GTA cars, they have that ugly black, un like untextured nastiness you can see there on the uh, behind the engine. I'm not a big fan of the way that looks, and I kind of like to cover it up as much as possible. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do a stock hood. Okay, horn doesn't matter. And then headlights, you have the yellow ones, or you can do xenons. So I think I'm gonna keep the yellow ones. I like the way those look. Especially since most cars in GCA, they already come with blue lights. It's getting kind of annoying. Okay, so you got a basic pinstripe, which I can't see for some reason, because the car is... You know, let me paint this car in gray or something. Just paint it silver, maybe we'll be able to see stuff a little better. Too. Delivery. Ah, oh, there it is. It's white. It's a white pinstripe. Okay. We have yellow flames. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. Purple flames. Rapid, vapid. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or hustle something? time, which is the same one as the other one, just different colors, pretty much. And just some patina. Okay, so this is, this is definitely a rusted paint job. You can see the paint fade everywhere. Then you have barn find. That's pretty cool. You have custom racer. So if, if this was like an old racer, no rush you can see some rust spots here and there. I find kind of cool. A rust, rusty dragger. So a really old drag rusted car. Then a salty rod. Wow. There's a lot of different livery options. I'm very surprised. I think I might do the flames. This, this is a hot rod. So you're supposed to go crazy with these cars. Whatever I'll do the PL flames. Alright. Then plates. Ooh. Yeah. We did, we did do the rear bumper delete so we don't, we don't have a plate. <laughs> Okay, so the crew emblem would show up right there on the door. And then your primary color, that's your primary color there. And that does change the engine as well, which is kind of cool. I don't see it changing anything else. So just the main portion of it and then the uh, engine. How many cars you got in this garage again? Oh Girl, yeah, that looks looking. really good. Okay, then secondary. Secondary is just the fenders, from what I can tell. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing else. It's just the fenders. Kind of hard when you when you throw you throw off all the other colors. I think I'm just gonna match the fenders with the color of it with the car. There we go. Don't she 
Wow, that's really nice. And you cannot change the interior color, it comes tan standard, so you're stuck with that. And then you have roof, you can do a sunshade. That looks pretty cool. Definitely want to do that. That's the same sunshade from the uh, Slam Bad Custom. We have skirts. You have removed side panels, which is not working for some reason. Oh, okay, well you can do it here separately as well. I don't know why remove side panels isn't working. Oh, I believe that, okay, I get it. Uh, I get it. Let's mess around with it. Mean, I, mean, I think this is important to see. I think when you have a stock sauce, this one is that, yep. There you go. So that, that's what that one is. So you want to have the exhaust coming out the back, but you also want to have that open. Okay. Let's put that back. Okay. Skirts. Yeah, that was that one, and then the other one is just to remove fenders. So you don't have to glitch it to remove the fenders. You can just remove it separately here. Alright, and then suspension that you can have lowered. Alright, so I'll definitely gonna lower this. Transmission. Turbo, wheel, okay. I'm probably just gonna get the same wheels that I already have now, but in chrome. Oh yeah, the Dukes. Those wheels look great. You can never go wrong with these wheels. The Muscle Freaks don't look too bad either. I mean, the Cracker. And then, no these are how the high ends would look if you throw high ends on it. I'm not a fan of high end wheels on classic cars or hot rods like this, but I mean, if, if you like them, you know, that's, that's up to you. It's all personal preference. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to do the Dukes and Chrome. And then, tire design. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it looks a little bit too busy. Whatever you I'm going to do it without it. Technology and budget. Okay. And it does not come with bulletproof tires, so you want bulletproof tires, you gotta add that separately, like most other cars. And then we have window tints lastly. So you can do the window tints if you want. The window tints look pretty cool in this car. Now, I, I, I kind of wanted to show off the interior, how it kind of like matches with the exterior. The kind of like dark red and tan interior combination. So, I'm gonna keep the... Uh, the tint stock. Okay, so that was all the modifications for the Vapid Hustler. So now I'll take this to the ground. I'll drive it around a little bit, give you my opinion. I'll open all the, see if all the doors open. So right away, it sounds like a Mamba, but a little more high pitched. And that is a deep tone. Well, this thing's very fast. Very, very fast. Now, does it feel as fast as a Dominator race car? No, not at all. It's very lightweight as well. Now, you gotta keep in mind, this doesn't have any spoiler options. So, you know, if you know the spoiler options in GTA, you can see a little traction bar going up. So they do add traction. And this car doesn't have the, and this is the muscle car class. Oh my god. This car, this car spins out easily. It is not stable on the corners at all. That spin out that you saw there was 100% the car. I forced it in to the corner like I would a Dominator race car and just completely spun back around on me. I'm gonna say a little entry oversteer as well. A little understeer. Yep, yeah, so. This is like a hot knife 2.0. <laughs> but. This one does turn a little better, but it's, it's still pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest. And the brakes are atrocious. These brakes are really bad. Very, very bad. So, do I see this vehicle being 
somewhat or at all fast in any way in the game. I want to track. I'm not really. I mean, the brakes are horrible. The handling <laughs> is pretty bad. The speed's pretty good, but I mean, straight line speed means nothing if the car doesn't turn or brake. Those are those are the most important factors in track, other than power. But anyways, let's go ahead and see the all the door options. So all, let's see. Look at that! Everything opens. Wow. I can't believe they incorporated this. Th these are from this is from the original the five window coupe. This was an option from the factory, and this was a a back seat. So if you had passengers, they would sit back here, and it was a hundred percent legal back then. So you'd open this up. This was mostly used for. Uh, if there was a couple, they would sit their kids back here, their kids or, or their luggage, or whatever it may be. That's really cool. And I don't see... There's no floor mats or anything, so it's just a plain carpeting. White steering wheel, kind of like a sandy interior. The same color back there. And it's not bad, and the hood opens too. I mean, everything opens. I think it's... I think it, it's pretty good. Not bad at all. But I mean, it's a great little hot rod. At $625,000, I do feel it's a little overpriced. I don't think this should be more than the $300,000 max. So I'd say it should cost half of what they're asking for. At that price, I think it's worth it. So if you want this, I'd say hold off. Wait for a discount. Don't buy it right away. I mean, this thing looks like the hot knife and the Frankenstein a little bit. So I mean... It's not like if anybody's going to notice a difference right away, unless you're a really big fan of these old Ford Coupes. Yeah, that's it, guys. That was a customization for the Vapid Hustler. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.